All right, good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. So today's gonna be a different vlog. We're gonna do another install, but I'll explain to you once we get to the shop. But before we start the vlog, I'm gonna get some fuel. Uh, I gotta get some coffee for myself too. It's early morning. Just trying to wake up a little bit right now. So yeah, let's go get some coffee. So this is my second time filling up. The car is almost broken in. There's a couple of features that I kind of want to show you guys that, that you guys, if you guys drive this car for the first time, you just shut it off because it's kind of annoying. But I'll show you guys once I fill up the car and uh, we'll get inside the vehicle here. Hi, good for you. Hi there, mobile order for Kareem. Kareem. Kareem is my wife's name, if you guys are wondering. We jump double double, okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, All right. You. Thank you. You're gonna have to get this daily dosage of coffee. Thank you. Perfect. Have thank you. Uh, I'm gonna put you right down here. Yeah. Put my phone here. There we go. Okay. That's a little hard to do with one hand. See you guys in a bit. Go. Oh, morning coffee just hits just fantastic. But let's go over some of the key features that uh I kind of noticed that I, I just don't like about this car. I've had roughly 800 kilometers on it now. I can do a little bit of spirited driving and that's the first thing I noticed that, um, yeah, just let's hop in here. Let me, let me just, okay, let's, uh, let's fire this thing up. All right, do you see that little green thing there, which is right here? You can turn it on, turn it off. Okay, so, I did a little bit of spirited driving since the car is broken in now and it's very intrusive. What it is, is this lane departure or it tells you that it helps you mitigate staying in your own lane or detects cars that are in front of you. Um, so basically, if you're doing spirited driving and you're going to get really close to that car in front of you and do turn, uh, it's going to basically think that, oh, you're departing, departing from your own lane and it's going to push you back in or it'll break for you thinking that you're going to get in an accident uh, or the car thinks that it's something's going wrong and it's going to help you try to break and that can create a major accident so just shut that off if you can or if you should and i know you could just shut it off because i just shut it off okay so the second thing i really hate about this car okay we spent a fortune on this car and look at this camera, you guys. It is garbage. It, the quality is just garbage. And absolutely, look at the resolution on this. And it's, I believe it's, it's not this, it's not the screen. It's the camera resolution, sucks. I'm gonna figure out to replace this sucker here. And that should resolve our issue with shitty resolution um, camera uh, on the screen. Cause the screen is really, is beautiful, but it thinks it's, it's the, I'm gonna do some more research, I'm gonna figure it out, and I think it is the camera. If I can figure out how to change that camera out to a more high resolution camera, that's just all the problem. So, speaking of spirited driving, I was watching a couple other vlogs, and I believe it's a smoking gun. Mosquito. Anyways, so the, the smoking gun kind of pretty much says, auto rev match, is for pussies. In another words, it, well, he said it in a nicer, a polite way, but he pretty much says, all rev match are for pussies. And you know what? Mommy ain't always no pussy. So, today's mod is going to be installing the QED pedal relocation bracket. But Gerald uh, said, if you want to try it out, it's brand new for the FL5. And of course, you know what? We're going to try it out. They've done it on the FK8s and the 10th generation Civics. So this is fairly new. This is the model 1919 Acuity. This is what it looks like. Oh, let's, let's, let's open it up and let's get this vlog started. 
what you get inside. Well, mmm, it's not bad. Bill aluminum. This is the first time I've ever seen one of these guys or anything from Acuity. And I heard a lot of good things about them. And online, it looks pretty sick. So these are, have been installed before on the old older generation. So this is the first for me. And uh, to supply you the hardware. Some stickers, whatever that is. That's it. No instructions, eh? Or maybe just online. Oh, no, no. All instructions are here. Looks like it anyways. All right, let's 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 get this rolling, you guys. So to remove this pedal, there's three 10 mils. This one right here. Did I grab a 10? Where's the 12? Man, 12 mil, you guys. Let me break back. Let's check this. All right, it's a 12. All right, so on the FL5, it's a 12 mil, three of them. Let me go get a wrench. It's not coming out. A little tight in here. Let me go get a longer extension. Holy shit, you guys. Watch my luck, watch. It's gonna to be too long now. Either too short or too long. Shorter one. Okay. A little awkward, but that's okay. Yay. Like that. There we go. There, there we go. It's out. Okay. Simple, easy peasy. <laughs> so it does pay off to uh, read the instructions. Uh, so it clearly says right on it 12 millimeters. I didn't listen. Well, I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> so it pays to uh, read the instructions. So let me uh, so let me throw this pedal relocator in, and then we'll go over the positions after. Okay, so it goes back into the the factory location, which is right here. Very simple. Then you use the factory hardware, the 12 mils, and torque it down to 10 foot pounds. So the Acuity pedal relocator gives you three positions uh, to suit your likings. Well, hopefully suit your likings. So position A allows you to move the pedal up 15 millimeters, 15.5 millimeters. Position B allows you to move it up and over. So yeah, up and over to the left, 11 millimeters. And position C allows you to move it left and down at 11 millimeters. So it gives you a little bit of uh, adjustments that you can do. But uh, because this is YouTube, you guys, I'm not just going to tell you. I'm going to show you on the uh, pedal here where it looks, what it looks like. So let's uh, settle, set you guys down over here, and uh, let's see what it looks like. All right, boys and girls, position A goes up. 15 millimeters. So basically factory would have been like right about here. If you just line it up like that. So position A is right here. So pretty much obviously wider, but you see how it's... So basically the factory one is down here. So when you're healing toe, you're already breaking because it's already down here. And the QE position A allows you, if you have, I think if it's a wider foot, 
you want to go to this position. And then position B, what did I say again? Left, up, up 11 and to the left. So position B, up. So it's not as, yeah. And then position C is left and down. So C here is left and down. So A is all the way up here, B, and then C. C, and I think I'm gonna go with C because my feet is not as, uh, my foot is not very wide and I have a hard time reaching for the gas pedal. So B, let me see. It's either C or B. I'm gonna go with B, you guys. I'm gonna go with B. Because it's, it's very level with the uh, the ga brake pedal. So I'm gonna go with B. So I'm gonna go ahead, install the supplied software, or supplied software, supplied hardware, and torque it down to 10 foot pounds with a number five Allen. It's not a 316, you guys, it's a number five. Kind of awkward right now. I'm doing like a Superman, and it's. Uh, uh, I'm trying to. It's easier if I just cover the whole camera and you guys can't see anything, but because I'm doing this to show you guys, it's kind of a little awkward. Uh, there. Hopefully the camera just not just catching my arm. hardest one here. Okay, there you go. And last but not least, don't forget to plug her back in. There we go. So I'm gonna just kind of show you guys how it looks like. So, so much easier now, right? See how it's level? It's level with the brake. So you're not really braking while you're heel, heel and toeing now. And this is position because before the pedal was like a lot further down like down here so you're already braking harder than you should be because my foot is small see so now you're healing tone without braking too hard so there you go matt from smoking tires or wherever your channel is we ain't no bitch so I think I'm gonna call this vlog the driver mod mod. <laughs> so I'm gonna release this vlog first because I anticipated I was gonna release the Brid or either Japan seats for the FL5, but it took a little longer than I anticipated. And but it's it's turning out flawless, you guys. Here's a sneak peek of what it looks, and it just flawless. And uh, if you guys want to know how I did it, how the sensors came in and they work flawlessly. Check out next week's vlog. It will be released then. I just delayed it about a week. But uh, if you guys find any of my vlogs helpful, please smash the subscribe button. Um, help the channel grow. And we'll see you guys next week. See ya. All right, so now that I finally, I got the opportunity to drive the Civic around the block a few times, and I'm telling you, it's amazing. It's like, at first I was like, you know, how, big of a difference can it be but that little bit of a movement of the pedal amazing you guys like QE did a good job the fact that you know you got the opportunity to move your, your the the pedal to the position you like and it, honestly if you don't like the three positions you can just go back to the OEM it's not a really hard install with three bolts and you're back to the OEM position and that Relocator is not really expensive, so you can't really go wrong or you can't lose out. Just give it a shot, you guys. I think you guys will really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, it, it feels good. It's amazing. Honestly, amazing. So hopefully uh, you guys liked the vlog. And I just really just wanted to give you guys uh, the input after I drove it. I'm just recording on my phone right now because the other camera is in the shop and I didn't think I needed it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end off the vlog. See you guys next week. See ya.